Hannah, Alex here at mixinglessons.com. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the Verve Analog Machines plugin by Universal Audio. And the version of this plugin that we're looking at is the Essentials version. So there are two versions. There's this Essentials version, which gives you access to four analog machines. And then there's another version, which gives you 10 machines in total and gives you some more options over how you control those machines. So it gives you options for things like tone and warble. With this Essentials version, it's a little bit more simple. We just have one control, we have a drive control, and we have four different analog machines which we can use to add some analog character to our mixes. Now, the Essentials version of this plugin is free until the end of April. So at the time that this video goes up, you've got a couple of days to go and get this plugin completely for free from Universal Audio's website, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Okay, so as you can see here, this plugin gives us access to one tape machine called Sweeten, another called Warm, Thicken, and Vintageize. So what we'll do is we'll go through each one and have a listen and see what kind of character you could add to your tracks using each of these settings. So we'll start with Sweeten, and I've got this plugin loaded onto the main channel in the mix. So this is applying this tape machine to the entire mix. We'll start with the tape machine turned off and we'll listen a little bit and then I'll turn it on. Okay, so I'd say that's quite a subtle sound, but it does open up the top end and it makes the bottom end a little bit thicker and a little bit warmer. So that's a nice sort of gentle analog tape sound. Let's have another listen and we'll also experiment with dialing in some overdrive. Yeah, I think that does a really nice job of adding a little bit of tape character. There's a little bit of saturation there. And as I say, definitely a more open top end and a little bit of a warmer bottom end. Okay, next we have the warm setting. So let's start with the drive turned off. And again, I'll start with the plugin turned off. We'll have a listen and then I'll turn the plugin on. Okay, so a little bit less subtle that time. Uh, things definitely sound warmer. Uh, they sound a lot darker to me. There's definitely less high end going on now. And I think that sounds really good. Let's play it again and let's have a look at dialing in some drive. Yeah, so that's definitely a warmer, darker sound with some quite obvious overdrive there. Now, I think that this could sound really good on the full mix like this, but I think this is something that might sound quite good on something like a drum kit on its own. So let's solo the drums and let's have a listen to that. Yeah, I think that sounds really good. It thickens the drums up a little bit. It takes away some of that top end. And I think this is an instance where this could sound really good using this just on an individual instrument. Okay, next we have the thicken setting. Once again, we'll start with the drive turned off and we'll start with the whole plugin off. And we'll take the drums out of solo as well and listen to the full mix. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so we're definitely getting less and less subtle as we move through these options. So that sounds quite lo-fi to me. Um, I think this is something that could work really well on the whole mix in certain circumstances, depending on the kind of music you make. But I would also be interested to listen to this on the drums and maybe other instruments like the guitar as well. But first of all, let's listen again and let's add some drive. Yeah, it's definitely not a subtle setting, but this could work really, really well if you wanted to use it as an effect in your mix. So let's have a listen to a couple of the individual instruments. Let's solo the drums to start with. I think that sounds really good. Let's check it out on the guitar as well. Yeah, I think it adds something really, really nice to that guitar. And because it's not a sort of subtle setting like the Sweeten setting, for example, because it is a lot more obvious, I think it's something that could work really, really well on an individual instrument. And perhaps it's also something that you might like to automate. So maybe this plugin switches on just for a portion of the song and you use it as an effect, maybe in a bridge or a breakdown of some kind. And you could use it on the full mix in that kind of instance, or you could use it on an individual instrument. But yeah, it's a really interesting sound. Okay, so finally, let's have a look at the Vintageize setting. And based on what we've seen so far, I'm going to assume that this is probably going to be the least subtle of the four sounds. But let's have a listen and we'll start with the plugin turned off and we'll listen to it on the full mix. <laughs> Okay, yeah, as expected, definitely not a subtle sound. It's very lo-fi, but it creates a really interesting and unique effect. Once again, let's have a quick listen with some drive added. Yeah, so it creates a really nice effect and it's something that's really nice to have access to if you don't have a plugin like this in your list of plugins in your toolkit so to speak then this is a really nice thing to have access to because i could see that working really well as i say as an effect for just a part of the song or maybe adding as an effect on one instrument for a portion of the song or perhaps in some contexts you could process your whole mix through this um, but for me, I think the sweeten setting and the warm setting are great for a whole mix. And then I think the warm setting and the thicken setting could work really well on individual instruments as well. And I think for me, for the kind of music that I make, the thicken setting and the vintageized setting could work really well, either as an effect for a portion of the song on the whole mix or used as an effect on individual instruments. And of course, it does have some presets. So there's a fairly extensive list of presets to add various different characters or colors, if you like, to different instruments. Let's have a quick listen to a couple of these. So let's solo the drums and I'll toggle through a couple of these drum settings. Yeah, so I think that gives you quite a good insight there, actually, into the range of different characters that you can get from this plugin, right from the sort of quite obvious effects that you can get at this end through to the kind of warmer, fatter sound 
from a tape machine that you can get at this end. So yeah, I think it's a great little plugin. The only thing that I think it would maybe benefit from, and it would be a nice feature if it had it, would be to have some kind of control over the input, because obviously with things like tape machines, the louder you send the signal into the machine, the more of the color and the character of the machine you're gonna get. And so having access to some kind of input control would have been nice. Obviously what you could do is if you have a plugin before it in your signal chain, then you could send the signal out of that plugin a little louder to kind of control what level things were coming into this plugin. Obviously I've had everything running up to somewhere around zero. So that's probably been a pretty good level to be sending signal into the plugin at. But yeah, an input control would be nice. But having said that, perhaps part of the charm of this plugin is the simplicity. And I think it sounds fantastic. And for a plugin that you can get completely free for the next couple of days, if you think that this is something that you would make use of in your sessions, then I would highly recommend that you go and get yourself a copy of it. So I hope you found this interesting. If you're somebody who makes music in a home studio or a project studio, if you mix music or if you record things like vocals, then I've got three free PDF guides that I'd like to offer you, which I think you'll find really, really useful. I've got an EQ cheat sheet, a compression cheat sheet, and a vocal recording guide. And you can get all three of those completely free of charge when you head over to mixinglessons.com slash free dash downloads. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.